tell them what it's going to be worth in 10 years. So in 10 years, it'll be worth about 20 million, 400. Opportunities come at the most inopportune time in our hearts. When there's an opportunity, we feel like it's going to be around for, for months and years. But in an instant, someone can snatch it up and we'll be like, shit, why didn't we just move like a week earlier or something like that? Yeah. It just seems that we're, you seem to be in the right place at the right time. It seems like some people are just trying to get out, right. you know, go where, retire and, right. you know, chill. Yeah. And we just kind of step in right in without disrupting too much, which is dope. Yeah. Okay. It's the beginning. It's the beginning. What's up, everybody? I'm down here in Holyoke, Springfield, Massachusetts, the birthplace of basketball. Behind me is one of my buildings, the Alpina, 50 units. I want to take you guys inside, take a look. The Alpina consists of 46 one bedrooms, three two bedrooms, and three commercial units. Upon acquisition of the building, the whole building cost us $5 million, $2.2 million from 1031 tax exchange, seller held financing on the balance. We closed in September 2022. The Alpina is leased by one government entity. They have a, what's called a master lease. So they're in charge of all the tenants, all 50 units, three commercial, three two bedrooms, 40, 44, one bedrooms will be governed by them. And we just make sure that the building is fully functioning at all times and no wear and tear is being put on. The numbers made a lot of sense. Our cap rate's like 8%, which is for you real estate nerds, a home run and we're good. Being a landlord is not always easy. I come down here once a month, at least one window is broken. But we keep buying new ones because we don't give a fuck. You heard me? Fuck is loud. <laughs> nah! Let's go around. This is my man right here. It's the other half, the silent but deadly partner. That's him. I just talk. All I do is talk. He, he's the man of action. If there's a problem, you see him. All right, I'll call you later. All right. Get home safe. Text me, make sure you get home safe. Okay. All right. All right, guys, we're gonna do a tour of the basement really quickly. One of the major things you look for when buying any more than 10 unit property will be foundation work. You wanna see any uh, cracks in foundation. You wanna make sure the piping is good and you wanna make sure there are no leaks. So we're gonna check that out now and show you what we look like. Don't be afraid of the dark. Upon the purchase, the understanding was that all boilers, all HVAC, all piping, all heating, all cooling, all electrical, all plumbing, we're brand new. And we'll take you everything we have is the most highly efficient heaters and coolers that money can buy at this time. Everything you're about to see is the most up-to-date, technologically advanced, brand new equipment out here. These two boilers, 25 apartments. This is like vibranium in the Marvel Universe, guys. I just want you to know what you're looking at, all right? That compressor over there pushes out all the pressure. Tony Stark, Iron Man shit. Vibranium in the Marvel Universe. This is a water sprinkler system for the whole building. High pressure, 50 apartments, smoke. It all turn on, it shuts down the whole thing. <laughs> Does not do that. I have no idea what that is. I think you get wet. <laughs> this ain't plastic. Iron, baby. Like Iron Man, you know what I'm saying? Going to the first floor to show the one bedrooms and the two bedrooms. But I want to talk about something really fast. The way we got into this deal, one of my partners that owns other units in this area was just talking to a guy who does the wireless camera system, the security systems. He kind of does them for all the landlords, the major landlords in the area. He has mentioned to the guy, hey, I'm looking to buy something else. He says, you're looking to buy? Well, I have a guy who's looking to sell. And you, I know you're a serious guy because I've worked with you before. And he did the introduction. This property never went on the market. This was all word of mouth, good relationships. And the reason I'm mentioning this is that if you do good business, opportunities tend to find you. So if you're just slashing and burning people, that's why you'll never get a good opportunity like this. Here's a lesson. All right, that's it. All right guys, so we're in one of the one bedrooms here at the Alpina and they're all pretty much similar. 
one bedroom kitchen, bathroom. The two bedrooms I'm gonna show you next are ADA compliant. For people that don't know what that is, Americans with Disabilities Act. I'll explain more when the two bedroom, but these are more for regular, they're not ADA compliant, so it'll be for regular tenants. To further comply with ADA compliance, for people that missed the last video, American Disabilities Act, we're gonna be installing an elevator at the Alpina. We'll go from one floor one to floor four. And this will allow people with wheelchair necessities and things like that, easier access into their apartments. All right, in here we're in a two bedroom. I think I miscounted before, we have four two bedrooms in this unit, in this building, and they run all on top of each other. These are for families of four or more because especially if you have uh, children that are you know, male, female, they need their own separate bedrooms. That's what these are for. All right, guys, we made the tour of the building, the Alpina. We'll probably come back down in about two months when it's fully occupied and they did some designs to the outside. The cap rate's like 8%, which is bananas. Also, I misquoted, I believe it's three commercial units, four two bedrooms and 43 one bedrooms. So I wanna give you the right information, all right? Because I care. Where are we going next? We're going to the Maurice. 21 apartments, two bedrooms, two baths, fully occupied. We're not gonna go inside, but we'll take a look outside. Last but not least, the three commercial components. This will be the recreation center. The next one over, which you'll see shortly, will be the offices. And the third one over will be uh, executive. All right, boys and girls, behind me is the Maurice, 21 apartments we purchased in December 2021, me and three of my partners. The funny thing about this one is that we weren't supposed to buy this. We were the real estate broker on the deal. The buyer at the last minute backed out. The purchase price was 1.6. The property appraised value was already 2 million at purchase. So me and my team got together and said, we have to pull the trigger. We put our resources together. We pulled the trigger. We made $400,000 the day we closed and we're cash flowing every day, all day. The Maurice. So driving back to New York from Massachusetts, um, we went over a couple of the buildings that I own down there. The Alpina, the 50 unit, Maurice, the 21 unit. If you have any questions about appreciation, depreciation, cash flow, hit me up on Instagram, I'll answer everything I can. So just for everybody to know, I started my first acquisition I did with partners in 2021. It was the Maurice and I tell the story about how we got to that. And then there was another really great, luckily great situation. I was able to get into the Alpina and I document that in the blog. But anyway, you start, take a step forward and procrastination steals more profit than any bad decision ever will.